Welcome to Math with Sharks. So today what we're going to do is we're actually studying comparing numbers. And here I have my little shark guy to help participate. I hope you made either this little shark guy from our lesson scans or you just make your own. You could just draw it. What we're doing is we're actually looking at this shape here in the jaws and um, the little uh, poem on the front. It says, I'm a shark who swims in the sea. Eating big numbers is the food for me. Now, the trick with this is that um, this is actually a math symbol right here. And um, what it does is it helps us to understand um, and how to show which numbers are bigger or which numbers are less than or which numbers are actually equal to each other. So I'm going to show you using our um, presentation here in front of me. You can see it says using symbols to compare numbers. So symbols are um, signs. They are like the plus sign and the minus sign and equal sign and multiplication and division. They are not numbers. They are things that stand for something else. Generally, they stand for words. And we use signs. Oh, you can see Goose behind me. He wants to be in the video. Um, they, they help us to understand and to complete math um, number sentences. So we're going to learn a new set of comparing, num uh, comparing, <laughs> comparing symbols. Look, you can see that cat right behind me. Uh, well, Goose is in the video today. All right, so let's, let's begin. So I'm going to start right here. All right. So here, what I want you to do is to use your shark and put your shark so that it eats the number that is biggest. So in this first one, we have 17 and 21. I'd like you to turn your shark so that your shark either eats Let's see, I hope it's the same for you. Oh, that's really hard. But what I'll do is I'll draw. I want your shark to eat the bigger number. So if this is my shark, here's my shark mouth, um, would it be eating 21 or 17? That's right, it would be eating 21. So I put my mouth eating the 21. See that? Chomp, 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 chomp. Okay, now we're looking at 26 and 29. This is tricky because they're both in the 20s, but this is only at a six and this one's at a nine. So that tells me that this one is again bigger. Chomp, 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 chomp. Okay, now let's look at 53 and 53. What does that tell you? That tells you they're equal to. So the shark is equal is equally as likely to eat either one. Now let's look at this next one. This one's a little tricky. Look at the tens place first. We have four and three. So this first number is the tens. That means we have four tens over here and three tens over here. So that would be four tens and three tens. So from what we know about creating numbers the way we did last week, is this one greater or this one? That's right. This time the mouth is going to face this direction. Chomp, 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 chomp. The mouth and the shark always want to eat the bigger number. Eat the bigger number. Okay. Let's keep going. All right. So now what I want you to do is I want you to take your shark and I want your shark to eat the number that is greater than 88. Which number? 89. 87, 86, or 85 is greater than. Remember, greater than means more. So which one has more? If we look at each one of these in the tens, we have eights for each one. So we can't use the tens to help us. We have to use the ones. This one has nine ones, seven ones, six ones, and five ones. Which number has the greatest amount of ones? That's right, it's this one. So that's the number the shark would want to eat. Let's check our answer. We were correct, as usual. Make sure to, uh-oh, Furby, you are just all over the place today. Um, make sure that you 
are pausing me to answer some of these questions on your own um, or just keep watching and then go back through and see if you can kind of remember um, and answer some of them. All right, so let's move forward. Okay, how can you compare the numbers 43 and 26 using symbols? Well, I'll tell you, this first symbol This first symbol, if I can get it to do what I want it to do, there we go. This first symbol is less than, okay? And then, oh boy, that's not making things easy. Let's just start again. And then the second symbol, I'll just get rid of that. Let me try one more time. This one would be greater than. And then this one is what? Equal to. We notice that's an equal sign. So firstly, we can kind of rule something out. Are these two numbers equal first grade? I don't think so. Okay. So now we need to look and we need to say, okay, look at the tens. What is the number of the tens in the 43? It's four. And what number is in the tens of 26? It's two. Okay, so we know that this has more tens, so that means it is a bigger number. So which one of these symbols would we use? We're gonna use the greater than. 43 is greater than, and I'm gonna circle it, is greater than 26. And I can even draw my little shark here eating the greater number. So um, this symbol means greater than. Let's check our answer. Whoa. And, well, I know the answer is correct, so that's not giving us much help, but we'll, we'll move on to over here. All right, so this is the strategy you're going to use when you're completing your paper using your math book. They are going to ask you to take these numbers at the bottom and split them into tens and ones. So you did this last week, so here's an example. In this first tens, let's do 34. This one has a three, and this one has a four. That's 34, I know it's a little bit wacky. And then, oh, there's another cat. This is, this is the second cat, now she's here. Um, and this one is two, and how many ones? Eight. 34 and 28, I don't know why it's sideways. We're just gonna have to go with it. So now what we need to do is we need to think about it and we need to say, okay, first I look at the tens. Which one has more tens? 34 has more tens. That means that this number is greater than the other number. More than, bigger than. He wants to be eaten by the shark. So I take my shark and I draw him in and he's eating the bigger number. All right, let's keep going. All right, were we correct? Is this shark eating the bigger number? Sure is. Do you know that Mrs. Smith didn't even read the number problem, the, um, the word problem? Boy, I'll read the next one. Okay, so for this one, this is interesting. They want us to use this chart. So there's a couple different ways you do this. You don't have this chart on a piece of paper, unfortunately. So you could redraw this whole chart. You could, um, you could just write down your answers um, and um, it's kind of up to you. So what I want you to do is I want you to listen to the instructions and then pause and complete the rest of it. Circle the number in each row that is greater than the first number in the row. So let me make sure that you can see that we know what they're talking about. All right, so Mrs. Smith is gonna change this color and she's gonna draw a line right here. She's gonna draw a line right here and right here. So each of these are rows. So they want us to, changing colors, look at this number, look at this number. Wow, it's really hard for me to draw today. Look at this number and look at this one and find which one of the numbers in the same row is greater than this number that I circled in red. 
So then what you're doing here if, is if you're created, if you created this chart on your piece of paper or your on your board, which is what we would have done in class, then all you have to do is circle the correct answer. If um, you are just writing down the numbers, that's fine too. Start with the 34 and then right next to it, I want you to find and, and write down which number was bigger. So if we look at 34, which of these numbers is bigger? So 33 is close, but that has four ones and this one has three ones. So really that's that this is lower. We have to go to this one, which has four tens and two ones. So this would be the correct answer. Oh, you're just not gonna let me draw, huh? Let's get another color. There we go. Okay, so for each one of these, I need you to find the number that is greater than 87, find the number that is greater than 51, and find the number that is greater than 76. Okay, pause me so you can do that. Welcome back. Here are the correct answers. 42 is greater than 34, 94 is greater than 87, 60 is greater than 51, and 88 is greater than 76. Parents, if you're finding that your child is struggling, using a 100 number chart is sometimes the best way to really illustrate which numbers are greater than, because we could look down the chart to see which one is closer to the 100 or the 120. So they have that in their journal for math from last week, or you can just pull one up online. So you can choose to do that. The other way to do this is to take out those blocks, um, and I don't have any here these tens blocks or using the website from last week which actually allows you to touch to move these online and illustrate what these numbers look like to your child so here's actually a really good example a store sold 32 toys on friday it sold 16 toys on saturday to show use tens rods and ones cubes to show 32 on friday and 16 for saturday then circle the greater than, less than, or equal to shark. Okay, so you can see here we have, we would need to write down 32, this one would be 16, and then we need to figure out greater than, less than, or equal to. So right away, first grade, is 32 the same and equal to 16? I don't think so. So let's keep going. So here what I did was I used my blocks to illustrate 32 and 16. And when I do this, I can really see, look at all these tens. That tells me that this one is greater than this number. All right. So I just want to warn you, I'm coming down to my 15 minute limit. So if I need to, I'm going to um, pause this one and go back, do a second one. Okay, so this is part of your math page. So I'm going to go to your math page and what they want you to do is in some of these they're going to give you the numbers inside the chart and it's your job to put in the correct shark over here if we're going to do this is 63 greater than less than or equal to 35 the answer is greater than and then let's look, look over here we have 21 and 21 what symbol do we need to use here you're right, equal to. Okay, the name of the game, guys, is to remember the shark wants to eat the bigger number. You got it. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you. I have a few, I have another minute, so I'm going to show you here. These are the pages that you should have torn out of your thicker math book. We have page 409. We're just not going to let Mrs. Smith do it. Oh, it's very interesting. Okay, well, um, luckily these pages, I don't know why it's not moving, but luckily these pages are found inside your book, and I also took pictures of them, and I put them in the carousel on the website. All right, so check back with me on my little follow-up video to see how to do the bonus page to really stretch the learning. Talk to you soon.